Yeah. Brutal fight. Let's pump for this. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Be a part of the notification. Yeah. Shout out to all my Filipinos. If you guys don't know what Brutal Fight is, it's pretty much a platter of awesomeness <laughs> on banana leaf and you eat with your hand. I believe this was made up by the Filipino army. Now everybody is doing it at home. Let me show you how easy it is to make a Brutal Fight. Don't blink. <laughs> I can't see any Filipino dish or Budo fight without chicken and domo. So I got 10 pieces of chicken thighs here. I'm gonna press in one tablespoon of garlic. Somebody told me in the comments last time that their mom or grandma used 7-Up to marinate their chicken in. So what I'm gonna do, two cups of 7-Up. Eight bay leaves, half a soy sauce, three tablespoons of brown sugar, three tablespoons of white vinegar, and half a tablespoon of salt and pepper. Take your beautiful clean hand. Get right into it. I'm gonna let this marinate for three hours. The longer it sits, the tastier it'll be. Next, our rice. So I got some jasmine rice here, which I'm just gonna clean twice. Once I got my rice nice and clean, we're gonna do the finger trick. You guys don't know what the finger trick is? You put as much rice as you want. We're gonna take our index finger. We're gonna take our tip of our index finger. We're gonna place it on top of the surface of our rice. All we're doing, filling our water up to this line. Pop it into our tiger rice cooker. Cooking rice, shout out to Tiger Gang. <laughs> Next, let's cut up our veggies for our poodle fight. So I got some red onions. I got some star fruit. You guys don't know what star fruit is? Come on guys. Step up your fruit game. <laughs> Slice tomatoes. I got this cucumber here. Yeah, I got this too right here. Make them wavy. Wavy cucumber slices. We're gonna saute up some baby corn. So I got one tablespoon of olive oil to one tablespoon of garlic. In goes our canned corn. Salt, pepper, one sauteed. Just gonna pull it out. We got a bag of okra too. A nice saute. Just gonna take them out. Quail eggs. I'm just gonna stir fry up as well. I know it's not tradition to make it with this, but this is the spicy Korean taste that you eat with pork. I'm just gonna throw it in here. I'll take this quail up in this. So it gets nice and coated. Nothing to do. my corn leaves. Also, we have a bag of chicharron here. If you guys don't know what chicharron is, it's pretty much pork rinds. Yeah, pork rinds. I'm gonna make a sauce for this. I'm gonna give a shout out to my brother Eli for showing me this sauce here. I never thought vinegar was a dipping sauce ever in my life until I met my Filipino brother. E light. <laughs> Give you a shout out for showing me this and showing me the Filipino culture. I want to congratulate you too, my brother, because I know you're watching. I know you're watching. I want to congratulate you on your daughter. Big congrats, my brother. One of the best chef cooks I ever worked along beside. I got a cup of vinegar here, one big heap of scoop of sugar. Back in the day, he always fried up, um, what is that? Turkey skin for us to eat, and he made the sauce for the whole kitchen. So I got garlic here, sliced red onions as well and chili flakes. Lots of chili flakes. And there it is. This is your Filipino dipping sauce for everything. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Chicken adoba has been almost soaking for three hours. I cannot wait no more longer. This is what I'm gonna do. I know it's not tradition to bake it, but I wanna bake this. I want a crispy skin on them. Baking time, 20 to 25 minutes at 450. We're not gonna let this sauce go to waste, so we're just gonna cook this sauce down. And we're gonna glaze it on top of our chicken. Filipino sausage, longanisa, spicy and hot. I'm just gonna throw it into the oven for 20 minutes as well. Shout out to New Zealand for supplying Canada with the best mussels. So I'm just gonna boil this for about one minute. Greatness. Mayo and sriracha mix. Just gonna use this all up to make dynamite mussels. So we'll dollop on each into the oven five minutes. Filipino saute shrimp. So I got two tablespoons of butter here, to one tablespoon of garlic, pound of shrimp here with the head on, a half teaspoon of salt, pepper, one cup of Sprite or 7-Up. I cook the shrimp until it turns nice and pink. After it turns nice and pink, I'm gonna take this out. What we're doing now, just reducing the sauce. Sauce has reduced nicely and goes back my shrimp. I'm just gonna toss it into that sauce there. Lastly, some green onions, just to give it that color. Chicken adobo complete. All I'm gonna do, take my sauce that I reduced, I'm just gonna pour it on. 
I'm gonna let that soak all in. Time to set up the budo fight. So I got my rice, which I'm just gonna throw it down the line here. Do our vinegar dipping sauce right in the middle. Chicharron all around. All that fell in, so mm -hmm. I gotta eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh out of the oven. Ow, ow, ow. I definitely need to invest in some tongs. <laughs> I got my fried mussels here. Not my fried mussels. Big diamond mussels. Mamanisa necklace right there. <laughs> Let's hook this necklace up with a star medallion. <laughs> Between these shrimp, we got our quail eggs. So I got cucumber, tomatoes. look like it's everywhere but trust guys when I back up the camera you're gonna see <laughs> here it is guys your brutal fight for a Filipino armies I was gonna say army stew but army feast here when are you guys coming by there's a lot of food here we got longanisa we got mussels we got corn we got veggies we got rice Chicken adobo, seven up shrimp, and we got that medallion star in the middle with that longanisa Cuban chain. <laughs> Come through. Let's boodle fight. <laughs> so, hands are clean. I'm gonna use my right hand, and it's clean and sanitized. All we're gonna do is dig in. So, I don't know where to start. Let's do with this. I was gonna say carrot. Corn, baby corn. Quick time. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one new. I'm gonna try to break in like this and grab some rice. So chicharron. This is the sauce my brother Eli showed me. Shout out to you, my brother. Take the first bite of this. Quick time. Chicharron and vinegar. That's good. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. There's just so much stuff. Alright. Dynamite mussels. That's good. Nice. A palm. That's so bomb. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, I made it to the rice. I gotta break this medallion. Long Nisa, quick time. Nice. Mm. 
Too legit. Rice. Nice. Mmm. <laughs> Quality. Everybody needs to experience this. Everybody. Experience eating with your hand. Experience this brutal fight. It's about building flavors in your mouth. I just don't know where to put it. <laughs> you guys gotta come by. Come by and help me eat this. Chicken adobo. Quick time. That is so juicy. Juiciest chicken adobo you ever pop in your mouth. I promise you. Mm. Not gonna lie. Best breakfast ever. <laughs> All right. The shrimp. Suck on this head. Quick dab. That's good. Nice. You gotta suck on shrimp head. Wow. That is bomb. Suck on the face too. <laughs> Piece of shrimp, quick tab. Nice. Mmm. That is sweet and delicious.
Too beautiful. I'm gonna do this. It's all about building flavors in your mouth. I think it's very disrespectful. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But I'm gonna say, I feel like it's disrespectful to come to a Budo fight with a fork and knife or a fork and spoon. I'm just saying that. I'm not even Filipino. <laughs> a lot of people do think I'm Filipino. Every time I do go grocery shopping, all the Filipinos I meet always bust out Filipino or Talaga, Talaga on me. I'm just there like, oh, <laughs> sorry I don't speak Filipino or I'm not Filipino. I wish I could speak the language. If I did speak the language, I think I'll fool a lot of Filipinos <laughs> to thinking of that I am Filipino. I think it's because of my tan. I don't know. <laughs> All right, you guys gotta come by and help me. I didn't even get a quarter of this. You guys gotta come by. I should do this next time and invite a lot of people over just to see what they think. I know they'll love it. I think the whole eating with your hand thing will shy a lot of people away. Mmm. But if you want to come to my Budo fight, you better eat with your hand. Mm. Or use the shell as a spoon. <laughs> This is why I enjoy meals like this. There's a variety of everything. Not too rich, not too salty, not too sweet. There's a rich of freshness, saltiness, savory, the balancer. The rice is definitely a balancer. Mmm. -hmm. So bombs. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your bomb shirts. Or Food and Life's a beautiful thing. Shirts. Like this. Share this. Peace out.